Hello students and welcome to another day of distance learning. Today is April 1. Did you happen to notice anything different about story time with Mr. Ritter? Or did it look just like it always does? For today, in keeping with it being April 1, I would like to do something with you that we do in our home. I have three children. The oldest of our children is a son. His name is Kelvin. He is 21 years old and he is studying at university. He is a biomed major and he's very interested in science. We have a second son named Jackson, who many of you might know. He attends Isaac Newton Christian Academy and he is a senior. My two sons um, both enjoy the sciences and they both enjoy challenging each other with the periodic table of elements. So I thought I would do that for you today, just as my sons do with each other. I'm going to hold up a flashcard and you tell me what the element is and try to name it before I tell you the answer to the card. See if you can get your parents involved and see if you can beat them at naming the elements. That would be a good thing to engage your parents in what you are learning. So here we go. Try to answer it and shout it out to your device before I uh, tell you the answer. Hydrogen. Helium. Lithium. Beryllium. Boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, Magnesium, aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon. Potassium, calcium, scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium. Manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, and zinc. So how'd you do? How did your parents do? Now, if you really want to challenge yourself, watch this video over and over again and learn them. And then when you've learned them, then you can go by the atomic number in the upper corner and learn them by that number. That's what my boys like to do. They challenge each other by the number. Somebody will just say number 21 and the other one will say scandium. Have a great day, everybody. You can do this. Go for it.